Coach Garnett, long time no see. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. It's uh, has it been like two weeks now. <laughs> yeah, like man. I don't even see you that much uh, in the wrestling season when I'm covering stuff. But uh, caught you at the coaches convention. We talked. You're there at C3, mm -hmm. second C3 for you here. Yeah. You know, the Compound College Combine at Independence High School, which we're talking about. What what a facility, right? Right. This this school is uh, just the facilities that they have are, are phenomenal. Just from their their wrestling room. I mean, not too many uh, wrestling programs in high school have a room of that size. I mean, that's what three full mats or something like that. Yeah, I three full mats. You know, and it seems like they have a lot of support here, and the school is brand new, so it doesn't get much better than this for these kids. So you're on a recruiting swing. You know, you had a home visit yesterday, and now you're here at the C3. You know, what are you looking for? We already know you're, if you're at a home visit, you're on someone. That person yeah. is someone that you're, you're investing money into. Mm -hmm. Their scholarship, that's something that you're going after. Here's some, this is added bonus. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for when you're, when you're looking for someone at the, you know, the, the combine here? put on by compound? You know, I, I think it's a lot of things. You know, I like watching the skill test. We get to see how athletic a kid, a kid is, you know, doing, you know, the time miles and the uh, the rope climbs and the pull-ups and, you know, all of it's in a time sense. So it's really, you know, it tests their athleticism and it tests their mental, uh, you know, side of things as well to see how tough they are. Um, you know, and watching them go through the technique, seeing how they pick up things, you know, getting instruction from us. It's a, really a test run to see how these kids learn. Um, you know, an environment where they'd be uh, getting instruction from us and then just watching them scrap and get after it. You know, we, we are a team that, that really prides ourselves on being in great shape, uh, out hustling guys and out toughing guys. So, um, you know, we're kind of looking for kids that fit that mold and I, I, I can see a few in that room. So that's uh, certainly encouraging. We saw if people could scramble or not today. Uh, we did. Between you and Rochelle, man, <laughs> it, it got scrambly in there, but uh, you no. Were scramble camp. <laughs> for sure, man. It was almost like one of, because Cliff's a scramble guy, but um, no, you guys, that's another intangible, you know, scrambling is a whole another thing that's, it's changing and ever evolving at the college level. Um, knowing a kid can scramble and getting your hands on a kid and seeing if they can scramble, what's that like for you? You know, it's, it's, it's good for us because, it, you know, you look at scrambling, it's really become an art form now and the way that the rules are changing in college wrestling and, and so forth with that, you know, a lot of kids are getting really good, you know, not only just at the basic defense, but also at the second and third levels of defense with the scrambling and, and having the trick knees and, you know, and turning other guys' offense, their opponent's offense and their offense, you know, having, being comfortable with the guy being in on your leg. You know, uh, you know, just just getting my hands on a kid and, and seeing how he reacts to those different types of scenarios tells me he has a really good feel, not only just for that position, but a really good feel for wrestling. Because you really have to know what you're doing in there uh, to be successful. Otherwise, you're going to get put to your back and give up a lot of points. But uh, you know, just being able to, to show them the technique and then watch a lot of them employ it in their live wrestling and then just feel it myself is is man, it's it's invaluable. What's Coach Kitch tell you? What's the checklist when you're you know, hey, you go to this. You know, you got the, the home visit. You know what that guy is all about already. Yep. What's he telling you? What's the checklist from Coach Kish into that room right there for a guy? Uh, for me, he tells me, hey, does the kid have a good feel? Um, does he get good grades? Is he tough? Does he wrestle hard? I mean, it's pretty pretty simple for us. It's, it's the mold that we have, um, you know, and I got the, the whole uh, uh, booklet worth of information on those guys so I can see their grades, I can see their accomplishments, I can come in here, get my hands on them, see how tough they are, see their feel, um, you know, see if they hustle, you know, are they lazily walking back when we're showing technique or are they hustling in, you know, um, are they getting after it when they're doing the live wrestling, that type of stuff. So, um, you know, we kind of have our mold and I check it through as we go along and, and in my little notes section, my booklet that Cliff gave me. So. Um, you know, that's kind of how Coach Kish was as a wrestler. You know, he was a grinder, hustler, um, you know, really got after it when he competed, um, prided himself on hand fighting and being tough. So, um, you know, we have a lot of kids that, uh, that fit that mold because that's the style we employ and that's what we teach. All right, they're doing the skills test right now. You like to see athleticism. I'm going to let you get back in there. You got anything else for me? Uh, not much. Go Bison. Hey, thanks for the time. Safe travels back to you. Absolutely.